me, restarted. Let me, let me Fair just enough. stop you so you don't waste a line of questioning. I'm just giving you. <laughs> I love the, the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's what? Well, just mean? talking me through how how what do, well what do, what by do, not answering the question what do you, by what do you, what do you repeating suggesting? processes which are not related to the question that I've asked. What's, what's mansplaining, what's Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you're doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as a man. Well, then the easiest way what, to do is it... What, is that what well, you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending, and I have responded to that. So the easiest by, by, by way to deal with this is not, imagine, is not ima to, imagine, Senator, is not to, imagine to have that way in responding to the questions I've asked. Imagine the reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used. Is it where, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude... Doesn't, doesn't make By rude sense. senators. Uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. Stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself it. appropriately for this well, place. I'm sorry you're so offended by the use of the word. It is it is a word that's used. Uh, it's it's a. I'm surprised that you're so shocked by the use of the word. No, I'm just um, I'm just calling hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Well, thy name yes. is Labor. Thy name is Senator Gallagher. How do you say that some people don't have privilege when you basically just said that trans people aren't valid? They're not a thing. They're just girls pretending to be boys or boys pretending to be girls. Mm. Okay. Like, okay. Oh, someone's excited. Okay. No, gender is not disconnected from sex. So. It's not completely disconnected, but it's still a cultural thing. It's still from society. It's okay. No, it is not in the mind. Okay, you're not a man if you think you're a man. And I didn't say pretending, or if I did, I shouldn't have said pretending. Let me amend. Playing. Okay, I said a boy who thinks he's a girl. That's the usual phraseology I use. Not playing, I usually say a boy who thinks he's a girl or a girl who thinks he's a boy, which is technically what we're talking about here. The idea that, that sex or gender are malleable is not true. Okay? And I'm not denying your humanity if you're a transgender person. I am saying that you are not the sex to which you claim to be. But if you are going to dictate to me that I'm supposed to pretend, I'm supposed to pretend that men are women and women are men, no. My answer is no. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to modify basic biology because it threatens your subjective sense of what you are. Okay, but you're still saying these kids should like, not be accepted because they don't really fit in either place? They can't just like... I'm saying that the Boy Scouts have a standard. You must be a biological boy to be a Boy Scout. You have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. Where's that written, though? Okay. In the name <laughs> Boy Scouts. <laughs> ha! Got him! Ha! Because, because, it, because this is... Because this is a, a very okay, for, because for all of human history, boy meant boy and girl meant girl. Have you talked to a group of trans people at all instead of this group of like white people? I'm more than happy to talk to a group of any people who will have me, but usually they protest me. Well, <laughs> okay, last question um, about your Planned Parenthood thing. Um, so why do you think it's not about conflicting women's bodies and just about the separate life? Like after the baby is born. How come more people don't care about them? They don't care where they end up in foster care. They don't care about the mother being poor. Like. Okay, I do care about the mother being poor. I do care about foster care. Okay, well, but why don't you advocate for that, though? Because Planned Parenthood is supposed to prevent abortions. Because, I, well, Planned Parenthood doesn't prevent abortions. They, they do perform though. hundreds of thousands of abortions a year. They perform 300,000 abortions a year. They're leading abortion bill in the United States. evidence for that, though? That they perform 300,000 abortions a year from Planned Parenthood. Got it. That's my evidence. They don't yeah, dispute that. No one disputes that. Like birth control and I'm not anti-birth control. I know. But birth control is extraordinarily cheap. That provides affordable birth control, which would in turn Okay, they're not the only people in America who provide affordable birth control. You can go get a pack of condoms down at the local CVS for 12 bucks. <laughs> yes, and it's true that most forms of birth control are also extraordinarily cheap on an annualized basis, unless you have a severe problem. And I'm not against people going and getting that from Planned Parenthood. As you may have noticed, I'm mostly against abortion. If you want to go to Planned Parenthood and get a contraceptive, go for it. I don't care. I do care when you start killing babies. This is a problem for me. What's your energy solution? Is locally owned, renewable energy for the people, by the people, not for corporate profits. What kind of energy? Localized wind and solar. So wind, which kills more birds than any other energy that system. Is inaccurate. 
it is. Would you like to get, would you like to guess how many birds are killed by by uh, by wind by wind? Enough that the, the the current administration is actually exempting them from federal laws, which would which would put them in jail for the number of birds they're killing. I'm sorry, but I think you should agree that the American people are a little bit more important than birds. Ah, the American people are more important than birds. Okay. I will say that the tailings. Yeah. I like that. that I, I can't wait to report to the Sierra Club that I have been at Amherst and had somebody explain to me that people are more important than birds. This is, this is a revolutionary moment. Okay. In, what, in what aspect of uh, American culture do women not have equal rights? The fact that we don't have paid maternity leave, but we still have a culture that says that women should care for children, I think is very sexist. So you want to go against the biological uh, ticking of humans that women are the raisers of children? That's biologically incorrect, sir. <laughs> Here is your description of the Trump administration. You wrote this piece in Teen Vogue, which I guess you write for. Oh, which you and guess you I write for? Yes, that's not fake news. That's real news. I write for, you <laughs> guess? Oh, you guess, Tucker? That's well, really patronizing. I haven't, I haven't read Teen Vogue because I'm not a, a Teen Vogue. Well, you have in front of, your producers asked me if I wrote for Teen Vogue. You have my Teen Vogue article in front here, of you. Here's I, what my she, name here's is Warren Duca and I write for Teen wrote. Vogue. Well, got it. Here's what you wrote. Okay. The road ahead is a treacherous one. There are unprecedented amounts of ugliness to untangle from deciding whether a president can be an admitted sexual predator to figuring out how to stop him from threatening the sovereignty of an entire religion. Yes. What does it mean to threaten the sovereignty of religion? What does that even mean? That means an entire agenda, a platform of, based on banning Muslims, which is still available on his website. How does that threaten the sovereignty of religion? That's moronic. How does that threaten the sovereignty of it? Pardon me well, for taking what, your words does, literally. Sorry, how does what threaten the sovereignty of it? How, Threatening to ban how does Muslims? Any, that threatens the sovereignty of it? Yes, that completely, that, that profiles okay. <laughs> based on the basis of religion and reduces people to their beliefs and dictates what they can and cannot publicly uh -huh. believe. That doesn't threaten the sovereignty of it. Um, so you, you also I, accused him on Chelsea Handler's show of, quote, committing a form of psychological abuse that makes the victim feel like they're crazy. Does Trump yes. make you feel like you're crazy? That's the impression <laughs> I'm getting. Oh my God, are you calling me crazy? That's adorable. I'm, I'm asking That's you, you said so on Chelsea Handler, he's committing psychological abuse on you. Uh, you believe that? On the American people. I believe the American people, Trump supporters, Hillary supporters, Jill Stein and her cousin, are in a victim of Trump's gaslighting. What I mean by that is that he frequently contradicts objective evidence, not that oh. he is abusing me personally. And I think you're smart enough to know that, aren't you, Tucker? I don't know. I just take your words at face value. He's so did you read the entire article? Psychological... I... I did. I also read Liam Payne is 100% certain One Direction will continue. Adriana yes. Grande rocked the most epic thigh-high boots at yeah. Jingle Bell in so Black team, China and Rob Kardashian went through the messiest breakup of 2016. Those are your other pieces. But I'm trying to get to what you're writing about Trump, taking have, a break from the thigh-high boots, and ask what you mean about him committing psychological abuse on you. A and woman are you okay? can love Ariana Grande and her thigh-high boots <laughs> okay, and yeah. still I'm discuss just letting you know that I read you politics. in Teen Vogue I, as of today. And there, those things are not mutually exclusive. You know, it's it, now that you bring up Teen Vogue, we, we we treat young women like they don't have a right to a political <laughs> to a conversation, bunch of, like, dumb propaganda and like you can't be, you know, enjoy Kylie Jenner's Instagram and worry about the future God. of this country. And those things are not mutually exclusive. So you know what? I did write about Ariana Grande, and I did write uh -huh. about the abusive, bigoted, those pieces were a little smarter than your piece about of threatening the, the sovereignty States. of a whole religion. All right, I gotta go. You should stick to the thigh high boots. You're better at that. Lauren, thanks for joining us. You're not, you guys are gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You like it though. <laughs> I don't little know. Little bit, little bit. Maybe in your religion, lady. I, uh... See? Men, you cannot trust them. They're gonna be obsolete in a few years. Because yeah, yeah, I heard We're it. making synthetic sperm. So we don't even need you anymore. <laughs> You might not, but there's a couple up there. I think they're going to fight you on this. Plus, you know, yes, synthetic sperm, yes, neatness, yes, an orderly life. Right, what, else, what other, let's debate this. What else you got? Me and me. For, and if, make a case for men. We're awesome. <laughs>
Yeah. Huh? <laughs>